In the book Voyages, Canada's Heritage Rivers, author Lynn Knoll wrote, In the beginnings of the river, you teeter on the edge of a hundred tiny watersheds where one drop of water is always tipping the balance from one stream to another. A watershed is the area of land where all the water under it or drains off of it goes into the same point or outlet. A watershed carries water that is shed from the land into soils, groundwater, and streams while making its way to rivers, lakes, and into the next watershed. It's important to remember that what you do on the land not only affects water quality in your watershed, but also for wildlife, aquatic life, and people living downstream. Minnesota is divided into 81 major watersheds. Groupings of these watersheds make up regional basins that lead to Minnesota's five largest rivers. The Mississippi, the Minnesota, the Rainy, the Red River of the North, and the St. Croix. As an example, the Mississippi River, from its headwaters in Itasca State Park to Minneapolis, has 15 smaller watersheds that drain directly into the Big River. Those 15 watersheds, and those that border them, together make up the Upper Mississippi River Basin. That water flows through the Twin Cities, where it is joined by the Minnesota River, then into the Lower Mississippi River Basin, where the St. Croix River enters, before heading south toward the Gulf of Mexico. Watersheds in northwest and northern Minnesota flow to the Rainy River and the Red River of the North, then into Canada, Hudson Bay, and eventually the Atlantic Ocean. Watersheds in the northeast part of the state drain into Lake Superior, the other Great Lakes, and also eventually to the Atlantic Ocean. The farther you look downstream, it's clear to see that what you do on your land doesn't just affect your small watershed and the next small watershed, but collectively it does affect the next large watershed, the next state, the next country, and our oceans.